All right, so in our last video, we took care of actually creating our subscriptions using the LZ vending module. So now what we're gonna do is start focusing on actually building out the uh, management groups, the uh, identity management and, con and connectivity resources uh, using the same um, folder structures and things that we did in the last video. So if you haven't gotten to this point, go ahead and check that out. I'll also be posting this um, code in uh, my GitHub repo. So you can actually pull it down and make an uh, edit changes that you would like as well. So going back to the code here, let me bring this back over here on my other screen. So let me close out of these. So we're essentially going to be um, taking move this over here. So inside of our connectivity folder, so we created our landing zones in this folder. Um, again, we're placing these in separate folders to um, have separate states and the ability to deploy these without having to um, affect any other changes in any other parts of the um, cloud adoption framework modules that we're deploying. So I'm going to create a new file called main.tf. and create a new one called variables.tf. And then one second here. Get some other stuff. Notes that I have on the other screen so that I don't have to slowly type some of the stuff that I'm going to be putting in here. So, so now we got the main.tf. We're going to also have a settings. Dot connectivity and these can be named whatever you want I'm just naming those uh, based off of it's just some notes that I've taken so I'm going to copy some of this code over so for our main.tf basically everything in here kind of go let me go, go through it for you here so we got our terraform required providers um, I'm going to go on the latest um, and pin this to a specific version and we're going to set our back end to um, our local path, and it's going to be called connectivity.tf state. Now, in a production environment, you'll probably want that inside of like a, a storage account so that it's secure and not only being used by one person. So here we're calling our um, subscription ID, and this is going to be in a variable called subscription ID connectivity. So I'm going to take that and inside my variables file, we're just going to create a variable called that. Uh, you know, put a description. Um, it's going to be the subscription, the and then default is going to equal the ID of our subscription for the connectivity resources that we created in our in our previous video so also did make one change so in my previous video i might have made some changes in regards to the name naming structures so if you look here um as you can see the alias name here is lmty connectivity management and identity I uh, would suggest making the display name that as well. So you can do connectivity, management, and identity. I'm not going to run that again to change those, but essentially try to make them, um, try and make them uh, match up as good as possible. So now that I got that set, um, let's just continue to going down. So for this module here, under the Cloud Adoption Enterprise Scale um, page, the latest version is 4.2.0. I'm gonna. I usually try and stay a step back, so I'm gonna go 4.1.0. And as you can see on the inputs tab, some of the required uh, inputs as far as what's needed. So default location, and then the root parent ID which we'll grab from our data source, which is our Azure RM client config. So here I'm gonna go version 
And for as you can see for the root parent ID, we're going to go to data Azure RM client config dot current dot tenant ID. So that's one less variable that we got to kind of keep track of. Our root ID is going to basically be what we want to call the um, uh, just we can bring it back up over here. Uh, the root ID, if we can find it, we can do a quick find for that. So this is the ID of the custom landing zones that will be appended to. So whatever you kind of want to name that, I usually just go with like some, you know, you can do like LM, you know, initials or something, but uh, it's just basically what's going to append to your landing zones. So I'm going to go... Actually, make that a variable as well. And then description is going to be the name appended to landing zones. Default, I'm just going to make this LM or let me tech you. So going down again, uh, we got that and then deploy core landing zones. We want to set this to false because we don't want this to actually, um, even though we set a root ID here, we don't want this uh, deploying any of the landing zones. That's going to be taken care of in our other videos when we get down here to the core uh, resources. So we do want to deploy connectivity resources. We want to configure the connectivity resources. And the subscription ID for connectivity is our var dot subscription ID connectivity. So as you can see, the only thing we're going to be touching in this module, which we'll be using the same module on all of these, is the connectivity resources. Now bringing uh, this window back over here for our connectivity resources, there's a big section down here, oh, back up here of resources that can be de uh, deployed using this uh, module. So you got everything from hub networks, everything, subnets, um, spoke virtual network resources, um, everything you can think here can be deployed. And it just depends on how much you wanna do as far as uh, building out hubs and, and managing things from this module. And also if you wanna just not take the approach of just deploying the resources you need and then managing things outside of Terraform and, and or in other Terraforms, that's kind of where you got to kind of take a step back and determine that for yourself here. So, but we will be deploying two hub networks and just to show you how the mythology around creating um, subscriptions, it's more of a governance thing. Um, but since you're using the connectivity subscription to manage your hubs, it's easier to deploy those in separate resource groups and we'll show you how that's done here. So what I'm gonna do is in my connect uh, settings file here, I'm gonna paste in some of the notes I had. So basically we got a locals file and inside that locals file, we have a configure connectivity resources block. Um, basically an object with a, a ton of a, a map of settings of you know, things that we want deployed. So as you can see, hub networks is deployed here. And we have the config for two specific different hubs. So we have um, this 10.100.0, and we've got a 10.101.0.0. We got a var primary location, and then we got an enable um, DDoS protection. And we're gonna set that to false because we're not gonna want that to uh, uh, be turned on in a live environment because it's pretty pricey. So we can actually uh, take this, copy it over into our variables. And you can do a description for that as well if you want. Um, enable DDoS protection. We're gonna set that to false. 
The other one was variable that primary location. And then we're gonna say primary hub. I'm gonna say central US. And then we needed a secondary location. And then for there, we're gonna say East US. So we should see now inside of our file, let me save this. So enable hub network mesh peering, um, that allows us to uh, link hubs to uh, other hubs. Uh, the If we also wanna allow um, other, um, virtual networks to basically connect to each other. We need to also enable, let's see, find it here. Peering. So there's an option to enable outbound virtual network peering. Now it's, default it to false, but you can also, what we'll do is we'll be able to deploy virtual networks inside of uh, our other subscriptions and peer them back to these hubs as well. So we'll sh show that as well once we get to the end of all of th these being set up. So now that we got those set, we're gonna go down into the other sections. Uh, we're not gonna create any uh, VWANs. Um, uh, DDoS protection is not going to be enabled, no DNS, and then um, tags. We're going to just take those out for now. All right, so now what we need also is an output. So we need our output. So basically what's happening is we're creating a set of um, files that's going to allow other um, resources in these other folders to you or basically in the core to to grab the uh, subscription IDs any settings um, so once we get down here and need to deploy the uh, resources in the landing zones we need to know that these are already set uh, as far as uh, the networking settings um, so that it doesn't fail so we'll create a new file and call this outputs And outputs in Terraform, just a way to kind of create your own variables to basically utilize in other parts of either code or um, toolings that you would use outside of uh, Terraform or inside of Terraform. So I'm basically going to take this here and I'm just saying, hey, output configuration and basically local.configure connectivity resources and I'm outputting my subscription ID as well. So outside of that, that's uh, it for this portion. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and run this and get our hubs and everything like that set up. So if I go out of this folder that I'm already in, I'm going to the second one, let's do a Terraform plan. Let me save this main.tf. Yep, we got to initialize it first. Download our modules and everything that's needed. We would like to see what the module is doing. It's a good way to kind of come in and see some of the stuff that's being deployed if you were to utilize some of those other inputs. So you got policies, role definitions, um, stuff like that. So now that that's all deployed, Let's do a plan. And, oh, default location, set that. That's one of our required ones. And that's just the location that's uh, used for, by default if you don't set your any other settings to override that. So 
So our plan should show us that there's quite a bit of stuff being deployed. Um, and it should put it inside the connectivity subscription here. So let's give that a second to think. And let's see. Make sure we have the correct subscription ID there. DDoS protection turned off. Primary hub, secondary hub, East US. All right, I'm gonna give that a second here. It could be a little slow just due to um, something being hung up, but uh, check that out here once it comes back. All right, so that's done. So by default, um, DNS is enabled. Uh, so I had to turn that off or else it was going to try to deploy around, I think it said 200 and some resources. So for a demo and just trying to get figuring out how to set this up, there's a lot of things you do want to turn off and uh, DNS might be one of them, especially if you're maybe you don't want to uh, enable that even in a production setting to test things out. So now I'm going to do a Terraform apply. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna say yes to this. So random ID getting created. And so we should start to see some of these being deployed. So if we go into our, oh, and then that's also our output. So let me bring that back up here. So when we, ran this we can see that our outputs is our configuration settings and our subscription id that's getting outputted so these are um, configurations and values that can be utilized in other parts of code um, tooling or whatever you're using so let's jump over to our portal here and inside of our connectivity subscription, we should start to see some of these things. So we see we already got our virtual networks, but you can see how this is broken out. So instead of creating separate subscriptions for the different um, hubs you would want, you can create them within the same subscription and separate them by um, basically resource groups. And then you can see that LMTY is the root ID that's getting appended to your resources. So if we go inside of one of these, we should start to see our hub network. So LMTY, hub central, U, um, U, central US. And then we should see also our address space. Oop. So address space, subnets, doesn't look like it created one, we can set that. And then we also have a peer between the two hubs. So if we look, and then we go to topology, we now have a hub to hub peer connection across different regions. So, um, and that setting is basically just from the enable hub mesh peering here, so. Looks like the hubs are being peered based off of that. So we didn't uh, set anything there. Um, outside of that, we could add additional address space if we wanted, but that's really it to get your connectivity resources set up. I'd recommend checking out the uh, link in the bio as far as for this particular section for any other resources you wanna set up. You can do Azure firewalls, um, a bunch of other things on this section. But now that we're set up here, we're gonna go ahead into the next video and move on to the management piece of here. So again, check that out. If you have any questions, drop me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back with you.